Hey YouTube, welcome to Claric Concepts, Mechanics of Solid and this time we are going to check out about the introduction to the subject. So let us get into the video. And guys, before we get into the subject itself or the introduction, we need to know the definition of the subject. So the solid mechanics or the mechanics of solid is the study of mechanical behavior of the materials under applied loads and constraints. So what does that mean? To understand that with an example, just check out the bottom right corner, the truss formation that I have shown there, which has some loads being applied on it. Now, we might say that the material is undergoing deformation just by looking at the colored trusses with the deformation shown there. So the red means with the highest deformation or the highest stress being induced within the system. And the initial state is that blue truss that you see there. So this is nothing but an example for the study of mechanics of solid. So that is the definition. So in this section, we'll be looking into the content of the subject. So what do we actually study in this subject? So firstly is the applied loads. So what are loads? Loads are nothing but the forces being applied on a body. And these loads will induce stresses within the body. And when there is stresses involved, there is always strain. That is nothing but deformation. The deformation and strain are not exactly the same thing, but deformation is overall change in the dimension of the body. And when this deformation increases to a large extent, that it might even fail. And hence, the failure also is a consideration of the study. These various different topics are being interconnected using mathematical models. So these are the various equations that we use to actually relate the various components of the subject. So the equilibrium equations are used to resolve the forces and to determine the stresses developed within the body. Whereas the constitutive equation helps us to relate between the stresses and strain. One of the most famous equation that we all know is the Hooke's equation, which we'll check out in the later part of the videos. And lastly, the compatibility equation, which relates the strain and the deformation developed within the body. And guys, in this section of the video, I'll be taking an example to explain what are loads and stresses and deformation. And you can see that the example I've taken here is from the Unbox Therapy, where Lou actually bends the uh, iPhone 6 Plus. And this bending test is a clear example about the mechanics of solid. So guys, this is nothing but the applied loads where uh, Lou is using his thumb to apply the force and is the rest of the fingers are nothing but the constraints. And as you can see there, the induced stresses are the highest at the point where I've indicated using the arrow where the strain and deformation actually takes place. I will provide the link for this video in the description so that even you can have a look at this video from Unbox Therapy. Guys, in this part of the video, we'll be seeing what are the application areas of mechanics of solid. So let me take an example. Yes, you are indeed seeing a Google Pixel. Now, why am I showing this phone? Even in the previous example, I had shown you an example of a phone and its bending. And in this example too, I will say that materials and the loads being considered during a design of a phone is an example for mechanics of solid. The engineers developing this phone We'll also have to think the mechanical properties of the materials they use that go into this phone. And they also have to analyze using various theories, which are again from the mechanics of solid. Not only using the phones and other common things that we use every day, the design of huge bridges are also example for mechanics of solid. Because there are materials involved, not only that, there are huge or enormous forces also being involved in this part. Not only that, there are stresses and strains being developed at every point of time in these huge bridges. So now that we know what are the applications, let us see why do we need mechanics of solid. Let me put it as a paragraph. The main objective of a basic mechanics course should be to develop in an engineering student the ability to analyze a given problem in a simple and logical manner and to apply to its solutions a few fundamental and well understood principles that is well put so i would say as i told you the examples previously like a smartphone 
or it can be any kind of design which involves mechanics of solid so we have mechanics of solid in our day to day lives we ju we just need to understand how to understand or to analyze a problem in our day to day lives using the few fundamental and well defined principles so yes thank you for watching guys consider subscribing as it's going to motivate us to make more such videos and get going with it so see you on the other side bye bye